Hello YouTube and welcome to your 13th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be covering the memory address of variables. Now you might not think that this is very useful but later on when you're making pointers this is going to be very useful to um, get the memory address of variables. Now if you're wondering what that is it's pretty much just a hex code that tells you where it's stored. So uh, you can see here I already have this program and you might notice a little difference in my setup. Uh, Fraps stopped working for me for some reason. I don't know what went wrong. But now I'm using an unregistered version of Hypercam. Uh, so you may see a watermark. You may not. I don't know. Uh, and you might notice a little some differences. But now I can pan around with my video instead of being stuck in one place. Which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead. And uh, here's our program that we've made. And I went ahead and make it. Uh, uh, an int type of main method or function so basically what this is is that instead of void it's going to return something and when we type return zero down here that just means that the program exited without having any problems or anything going wrong so let's come up here and go ahead and create a variable so we'll call it birds and we'll set it equal to eight so here is a variable that we have created and every time we create a variable it is stored somewhere in the memory now what we want to do is get the memory location of that variable so we'll just go ahead and see out birds and we'll go ahead and end the line and now what we're going to do is we're going to see out birds again but we're going to type the ampersand sign and then birds now this is really simple, but instead and instead of giving you the actual ver the value of the variable birds, it will give you the memory location. Now uh, you may think think this is stupid right now, as I already said, but we're going to be using it later on. So let's go ahead and come up here and run our program. And you can see right here it shows eight and then it shows the hex value of our memory location that birds is stored in so um, this is a really short tutorial it's really simple um, you can just mess around with it if you want maybe look up something on google about how you could use the memory address later on in your program uh, that's something that you need to do after you watch these tutorials is try new stuff with it figure out what you can do with it and then move on to the next tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe